A few quick tips for creating an animation in Infowater. One of the first things that we recommend that you need to do is to first run your model. If you don't run your model, there's nothing for the model animation to create. So first we've just run a 24 hour analysis. The next most important thing is you need to color code your elements so that there's actually something to view when you're viewing your animation. Otherwise they will all look the same for the entire simulation. And that's done using the map display tool, the little palette. Let's first color code the junctions by, let's say, pressure and our pipes by flow. So now we are looking at something that will change as we create our animation. Under the InfoWater Tools Animation Editor, go ahead and assign a name for your animation. I'm just going to call this Animation 2. And you can see as it's creating it, it's cycling through all the hours. One of the key things to remember is when you start the animation is to make sure that your time frame starts at zero if you wish to capture your entire animation. Otherwise, if it's at the end of your simulation, it's only going to capture from here to the end and it'll just be one image. Now, once we have created that, we're going to go into InfoWater Tools Animation Viewer. And you can see here's your animation. A couple of key points that you'll want to keep in mind is whatever hour it is listed right here is where it'll start playing from. The other thing is to set aside your delay settings. Uh, most people recommend starting at around 500 milliseconds for a delay time and then adjust that if it's not fast enough if, or it's not slow enough, you can adjust that. The higher the number, the more the delay time there will be. The next thing is that the forward button is only going to go forward one frame at a time. It is not a play button. So I'm going to move this back to zero. What is called the fast forward button is actually where you play the animation based upon the delay time that you'd set. And this is what 500 milliseconds looks like. And you can see as it goes through, it'll play all the different items. Now, once you start, as I said, that what it's listed at so at 24 hours that's not going to play again so you just need to use this button to get back to zero and then you can play and you can start again from zero and work your way through it if you wish to stop anytime you can stop you can go backwards you can go forwards uh, with the different buttons that are there but just adjust it and play with it and you can view it as you need it if you did have different animations we had just created animation 2 uh, and so you can, those will show up and you can view them in there. And, and that's pretty much how you view different animations that can be created yeah, within InfoWater and view them in the viewer. If you have any questions, just contact us at support at Thank you.